I'm back with the with the batteries and this thing takes four double A batteries. And you see the Mario sticker, the D pad, the B and A buttons, the select and start button and the speakers. Now I want to compare it to the original gray brick and two to play it loud. So let's see similarities and differences from this old powerful Oh shoot the lens fell off again. Oh well I'll put the lens in later. Well the D pad was the they had arrows on the original gray brick and here you just see two wavy lines there. Then you the B and A buttons were not black. In the gray brick, they were red. Plainly red. The buttons were red. Plus, the select and start buttons were the same. The headphone jack was the same. The contrast dial was the same. The volume was the same. The link cable was the same. And the cartridges, of course, were the same. I don't even know, this came with the system when I got it, as you saw. So, now, plus the screen ones were also the same. Like, let me show you. Even the screen itself was the same. Some people might call it pea soup green. That's fine, like the Twitter man guy on YouTube would say, that the screen is plainly pea soup green. I don't understand what he says, but he has a gray brick. You can check out his channel. He makes a lot of video game ones, including the Pokemon Mini and the Game Boy line. That's fine, but this powerful brick was the one to save our lives. Like, back then, people had to play these games for the NES. But then, later on, we've got these games for the Game Boy. And there were great games to play in. Plus, some other people would say greenish yellow screen, that's fine. But, well, I just. And the sticker's the thing. They also made two limited editions. Play it loud, the black one and the clear one. Plus, there were also others, but I got the green one right here. As you see. And let me show you how the contrast dial works. I'll figure out something with the lens later. Let me just show you the contrast dial. Wait, the volume. The volume was very loud in here. So the contrast dial works like this. To make it lighter or darker, that's fine. Lighter or darker. But I'll just keep it like this. I'll just put it a little bit lighter so you can see. And there's no cartridge in here. Now I'll put a cartridge in here. I don't even know what this game is. It came with it bundled. I'll play this game later. That game 
looks great, but it might be too long to show in Game Boy. Plus, Game Boy. Plus, you could also play your Super Game Boy games on the thing. Like, let me demonstrate for a second. I know it's yellow, Donkey Kong Link. One second. There might be a problem with the cartridge, I really don't know. Oh, there we go, it works now. Are you see? Everything is in black and white. This was Game Boy in the old days. So, huh. Here's what it looks like with the lens on. Man, that was always that was the bonus song when I played Donkey Kong Country. The game froze. Plus, um, I ordered Super Mario and cartridge. And that's Donkey Kong Land 3. Plus, you could also play a Game Boy Slash Game Boy Color games, like Pokemon Yellow, for example. There we go. Well, I beat the game. I wanted to see the intro. Ooh, black and white Pikachu. Of course, it was also red and blue. I want to show you my Pokemon. Here's Zapdos. I was playing this on the Game Boy Color. Pikachu! And there's Snorlax. Yeah, and that's that. But there was only one disadvantage. There was a certain type of game that you couldn't play on the original game. Well, you could not play any of these. Oh, well, those were you could only play on the Game Boy Color. Like, let me show you, for example. Maybe it's something with the games. Let me see if the system works. So basically, if you put these games in the original Game Boy, then it's going to do something like this. And even Game Boy Advance games won't work in it. They might do the same thing. Oh well, but it doesn't fit. So that's that.
Look, this thing is really huge. It's huger than, it's larger than the original Game Boy Advance. Like, here's the Game Boy Advance. And here's the brick. It's larger. And thanks for watching this boxing. Can't wait to go. I'll see you in the next video.